Hello there everybody and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Purple Rodri. Today we're going to begin a new adventure. I've been waiting for this one for a long time, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Welcome, one and all! Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokémon! Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place, with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokémon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokémon. Yes, Pokémon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now, turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match! Exhibition and not Leon, your pristine record's about to end when I beat you here today! You know I don't lose battles, Rayhan. Charizard, Dynamax! Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hello, hello! Oh, that your flash new phone, Rodri! Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? Well, you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Hope, oh, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Rodri. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Rodri. He should be here any minute. And Leo always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. We have officially took our first steps into the Galar region. And as you guys just heard, our friend Hop has invited us to meet his brother. Oh, our mom's got some for us. If you're looking for your bag, Rodri, didn't you leave it in your room? And grab yourself half the weather as well. I'll make sure to, Mom. How about you cook us some breakfast, though? We just woke up. We're up in here watching the championship match. Now we got to make our way back to our room, ladies and gentlemen. And it is in our room that we are going to pick up the backpack. And we are going to be able to proceed on out of here. It's kind of crazy. The house is a little bit weird. It's on the first floor everything is on the first floor the kitchen our room i don't even know where our mom's room is but we'll go ahead and grab our dad's old bag we're looking good and we are ready to continue on so if we press x here we're gonna be able to check out the bag the town map Pretty simple interface. Let's go ahead and make our way on out. 
Hop is waiting for us. Better head outside. We're coming, man. We're coming. Haha! <laughs> Have a look at you, Rodri. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. A Wooloo? Well, what's it doing there? Hey, you silly Wooloo! I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence, no. Everyone knows there's scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wield. Now that that's taken care of, how about it, Rodri? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What, with you lugging about that big old bag? I may be carrying a lot of weight on me, but that doesn't mean I'm not fast. We have officially made it to the town of Postwick, a farming town since days of old where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. You guys can see that there are a bunch of Wooloo hanging around here, and let's talk to some of the inhabitants of this town. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? That sounds very cool to me. I wonder if we'll get to do that here. Hey, Rodri. Hop was looking for you, you know. But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Ah, so we can't go that way yet. This is going to be Hop's house. I have to tell you guys, this is really, really cool getting to run around here for the first time. This is going to be a blind let's play, which means everything you see, I'm seeing for the first time as well. Mom, is he here? There you are, last hop. Oh, and you brought along Rodri. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee's hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that probably is for the best. You've got to come with, Rodri. You still never met my big bro, right? Can't miss out on our chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. As you guys just heard, the champion of the Galar region is undefeated. We saw a match at the start of this adventure where Charizard got really, really big. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Rodri, wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through Patch's tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Rodri, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass. You're right about that. I need to get myself a Pokemon before we jump into the tall grass. We've made it to Route 1, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Let's go and meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. All right, we're going to keep on going. This is a beautiful town, and there are a lot of townspeople here gathered around. What's going on? We've made it to Wedgehurst. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. Oh, it's our unbeatable champion! Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. Oh, we're on it! We've all been working our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee! But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on! Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Lee! Hop! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. 
Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, Ellie! And these bright eyes over here. I've got it! You must be Rodri, am I right? Heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gal region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee! And you, Rodri! But I can beat the both of you back home! That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. You promised us a present, so out with it! You brought Rodri and me Pokemon! You did, didn't you? I know you must have! Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone! Take a good look, you two! The grass type Pokemon, Grookey! The fire type Pokemon, Score Bunny, and the water type Pokemon, Sobble. All right, line up everyone. Which will you choose? Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. We're going to get to choose our starter Pokemon that is going to join us through this adventure. I asked you guys on my channel to help me choose our starter Pokemon and you guys left me a lot of comments so thank you guys so much for that. The Pokemon that we are going to be going with for this adventure is going to be... Score Bunny! Score Bunny is fire type. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You're set on the fire type Pokemon Score Bunny? Yes we are. We chose Score Bunny! And we are going to give Score Bunny a nickname. This is a nickname that I thought of while I was reading through the comments that you guys left me. So thank you guys so much for that. Be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. We're going to nickname our Score Bunny Bugs after Bugs Bunny. Bugs has been added to our party. So welcome Bugs the Score Bunny to our team. So it'll be score money for you! Nice one! Then I'll go with... Rookie! You're mine! I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready! You and I will be doing some serious training! I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokémon for you and Rodri. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Alright, enough all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Are you serious, mamas? You actually made us some food? That's what I'm talking about. The next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right Hop? You two getting on alright? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee! 
Rodri's made fast friends with a score bunny too! Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Rodri might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah, let's do it. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Pokemon Trainer Hop. We are going to battle our rival and our friend Hop for the first time. You guys heard that Hop has a Wulu already and now has a Grookey as well. Pokemon battle is that? I've got two partners with me. We have one partner with us and that is Bugs. Level five, I'm feeling very strong. So let's go ahead and go for the tackle. Our score bunny is going to be a little bit higher level than the Wulu. So we should be A-OK -okay here in our first battle of Pokemon Sword and Shield. They're going to be very, a lot, of, a lot of battles coming up and they're going to be varying in difficulties. So I hope you guys are pumped. It only gets harder from here. So be sure to leave me some comments and tips on what's going to be coming up. As I told you guys, this is a blind let's play. And as I always say, it's let's play, not I play. And we're going to be playing through this adventure together. Bugs Learn Ember. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. And here comes Grookey. We are going to have the type advantage on our rival here. So let's go ahead and go for the Ember on the Grookey. I have to tell you guys that the background, the environment is very beautiful. I'm having a great time so far and I feel like I'm very immersed into the game. I can't wait to check out some of the other areas in the game. Did you already know about type advantages? We might have knew a thing or two, my man Hop. Yeah, you know, it could have been talked about. We could have heard it in conversation. We might have overheard a thing or three. And with that, guys, we hit the Ember and the Grookey is going to go down. We won our first battle. Bugs grew to level seven and we defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. You need my two Pokemon of your one? You and that score one of your too much. We got 400 for winning. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Score Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Rodri, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Rodri. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then. Uh, we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Rodri. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Hop's right about that. We're going to be going after the Pokedex. Crash. Rodri, did you hear that just now? I did. The gate's open to the Wooloo that was there! He was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. 
You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. That was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Roger, what do you say? We gotta save it. Right? You weren't supposed to. This is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Rodri. Looks like we're going in through the gate. Let's go save that Wooloo. Where could that Wooloo have gone? We've made it to the slumbering weld. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? The fog's really coming in thick now. If we don't find the Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Oh no, we don't want that Wooloo to be stuck out here. And we ran into a brand new Pokemon. That's going to be Swovet. Awesome. So now we're going to be adding some Pokemon to the Pokedex. That Pokemon is level 2. So for now, we're just going to keep on running through. And hope that we can find Wooloo. Yo, Wooloo. Where are you at? This place is really, really cool. It reminds me of a forest that I grew up it around as a kid. And there we have it, another Pokemon. That's gonna be a Rukiti. I like it. Okay, Rukiti. As I mentioned to you guys, make sure you guys leave me tips on what Pokemon you'd like to see added to the team, as well as just some comments on how you guys are doing, how your adventure is going. It's always a lot of fun to get to share messages with you guys, to read through the comments, and to progress through the adventure with your help. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? I'm not sure, Hop. We're just gonna keep on going. And it looks like we're gonna be challenged by Squovet a lot. It looks like the squirrel Pokemon. Uh, it looks like his cheeks are full of nuts. It's got some chubby cheeks there. You know what? You go ahead and do that. Go collect some nuts. We're out here collecting the Wooloo. Or at least I'm hoping that we can find it. Come on, Rodri! That Wooloo might be in real trouble! You sure we're not about to be in real trouble, my dude? It's kind of foggy up in here, Hop! Are you sure you know where you're going? Have you ever been here before, my dude? Alright, we're gonna keep on running through. This is mad! I can't even see my own hand in front of my face! I think I get now why this place is off limits! What in the- Whoa! A random Pokemon has appeared and has challenged us to a battle? This Pokemon doesn't even have a level and we're level 7? Here we go ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna drop the Ember on it and it did nothing. The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on us. What? The move had no effect on it! Should we go for another one? Maybe we should run. We can't run away! Alright, Score Bunny. We're going for a little growl here. A little growl. That had no effect either? Rodri, I can't see anything. You okay? Dude, I can't see anything either. This mysterious Pokemon just brought on the fog as well. Score Bunny's not able to touch it. And more and more fog is coming up. I can't see anything at all now. I can't see anything! Ah! Hop, Rodri. What, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. <laughs> the 
The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wu's alright. Yeah, Rodri? Thought we had it when that weird fox started rolling in that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? Seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering weld. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get here for from Lee, one experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. We've made it back to Postwick and Lee has rescued us. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button as this is the first part to the series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Goodbye!